Hello and welcome to the Information Security Group SmartCat Center. My name is Konstantinos Mark Antonakis. I'm a professor of Information Security in Royal Holloway University of London. The SmartCat Center was founded in 2002 by Vodafone, Kizzy and Everett and Royal Holloway University of London. Among the main objectives for the establishment of the SmartCat Center was the creation of a worldwide center of excellence in the fields of smart cards, tokens, security and applications. Since the very early days of the Smart Card Center, the list of tokens has expanded from smart cards to also include other devices like embedded systems, mobile phones, near field communication, and RFID tokens, along with the associated application and implementation security requirements. A Smart Card Center also actually looks into the uh, Internet of Things. Uh, in Internet of Things, basically, there are still those embedded devices but now they're actually going to be connected with the internet. For example, your microwave, your oven, your washing machine, your refrigerator, your electricity meter, your gas meter, they, all of them are going to be connected to the internet. And there's actually a projection that uh, by 2020, we will have 500 devices in an ordinary household which will be talking to the internet. Smart Card Center, our focus is to provide uh, security and privacy to uh, this Internet of Things. Uh, so this is our focus and I'm working in a subset of Internet of Things which is called RFID. So RFID is uh, simply that we have a tag or a token or a card okay. that can talk to the reader wirelessly. Uh, uh, along a large distance, let's say one meter, or sometimes it can reach one, um, 10 meters. And in my work, I involve protecting the tags from any attackers that can take part uh, during the communication session. So uh, at the Smart Card Center, uh, we try our best to like um, meet the practical demand, for example, not just theoretical academic work, but as well real-world implementation that could just go out there and make an effect on uh, practicality. So this is something we really look into specifically at the Smart Card Center. Centralized memory systems are like normal day-to-day -day cards, uh, bank cards, um, as such, and then uh, decentralized payment systems are like um, cryptocurrencies similar to Bitcoin. Uh, based technologies. So part of my research is to find methods and ways how to improve like the security of these uh, um, payment systems and to see uh, what are the vulnerabilities and to improve this um, usability of such systems. The Smart Card Center has been conducting pioneering research in its areas of expertise and at the same time it blends theory with practice. We have a very active research thread on transport security, where we examine implementation and security requirements for contactless smart cards and how they can be used in the transport industry. We are fortunate enough that this research thread has been supported by our long-standing supporter of the Smart Card Center, Transport for London and ECHA. We have also received funding for a three-year EPSRC project where we will be examining the security, anonymization and data provenance of transport passenger data. We have also a very active research threat on payment system security. In the past, we were fortunate enough to have received funding from a major financial institution along with a long-standing member of the Information Security Group Smart Card Center, the UK Cards Association, to examine the security of payment systems. On this research thread, we examine EMV, the way PIN numbers are handled all the way from payment terminals to the issuer. We also examine associated technologies like NFC, tokenization, anonymization and fair exchange, and more recently we looked into blockchain technologies and how they can be utilized by the payment industry. There are three different levels of membership within the Smart Card Center, full members, associate members and supporters. Depending on the level of involvement, companies can influence our research threads, they can obtain access to MSc projects, they can advertise placements for our students, 
they can advertise positions for our highly skilled students, or they can establish separate projects in order to obtain impartial advice on specific security challenges that they may face. If an organization is interested further, they can contact me for further information.